man. Listen, man. So the other day, so in the morning when I go to work, I usually listen to podcasts or something uplifting that, that challenge my mind. I might listen to Luke Belmar. But the, yesterday I happened to listen to Wes Watson earlier, like our early podcast with him. So my supervisor comes out and they say, well, he says, can you turn, put some music on? I I was like, I'm the only one out here. And I usually put music on after I listen to my daily podcast or whatever. But then he goes and says, I don't be needing to hear that because I drink every day. I'm a loser. So it didn't, it didn't, it didn't. Like they have to come in a room full of people. And the only reason they can curb their fucking anxiety or their, the only reason way they can elevate themselves is by having a drink. It's fake confidence. We all know it's liquid, liquid courage. We've known that. But what if they just, one. what if they just like the, the buzz? Ain't about what you like. It's about the fact that your kid's probably not going to have a good fucking, your kid's probably going to have an adverse reaction to it. He's going to see dad sipping on that shit. He's going to pick it up as he gets older. And he's going to go fucking wrap the Ferrari around a fucking telephone pole. What if you see someone jacked, but they can still drink? They never can. They're escaping something else. There's no point. Everything, the cure to everything that ails you exists within you. I was in prison. I was able to fight the deepest problems with zero substances, going deep within, reflecting, and saying, no, nah, I can beat this with just a workout and positive thoughts and reading positive shit. You're supposed to elevate yourself. When you're at a high frequency, high frequency lifestyle, high frequency individuals, they don't self-sabotage. You only want to go drink and eat shit food when you're at a low frequency. That's why it's late in the day for people. Like, you'll crush it all day in business, crush it on phone calls, crushing it, crushing it, workout, da, da, da. You won't even want, you won't even need any of that. You're in flow state. You're purpose driven. You're not fucking, you're not getting bored and then, and then running into, it, it goes like this, boredom, desire, vices. And when you're only bored in life when you're not on your purpose. If you're not on your purpose, you're bored because you're fucking, you're drifting. How do you think people? It didn't hit my brain. So I was like, oh, you ain't got to worry about that because you don't drink every day. So he said, but I do. I said, well, then you're a loser. Then he says, how? I'm like, yo, you know you're not supposed to drink every day. That's bad for your body, and you're destroying your body. Your body's supposed to be something you cherish. You only get one body in this life. But how does that make me How does that make me a loser? I said, losers don't think they're losers. That's why you're a loser. You know you're doing what you're not supposed to be doing. And I be needing people, listen to people like him to tell me I'm a loser. And he's like, how are you a loser? I said, I'm here with you. That's how I'm a loser. And he was mad. He was he was mad as hell. He was mad as hell, man. Mad as hell. I'm trying not to cuss because you know YouTube be flagging me for cussing or they don't push your video. But bottom line, he was mad, man. I'm gonna put the clip in somewhere when I repost this video later on. But it was it was funny as heck, man.